for those people watching who don't know how to get started with a compost heap, can you briefly tell us how to do that? You know, that's really hard. And actually, if you have an apartment or something, I actually would say do worms, mm -hmm. worm bin. And I know people go, ooh, gross worms. But actually, they do such a great job at breaking down green waste that yeah. I love. I have worms. And then I have a green bin which I just put in the back garden behind some bushes mm -hmm. and I just pile, if the worms aren't eating fast enough, then I put it into this green bin. And okay. um, it's, it's, you can buy it at your local um, like hardware store, hardware garden, store, garden, store. garden, mm -hmm. garden ware store. Um, and so y that is somewhat easier. And then I actually do have a big compost heap, but you have mm -hmm. to turn it and you actually need a lot of space for that. So okay. people that have big gardens, I have, I don't even have a massive garden anymore, but mm -hmm. I have it hidden behind trees. And uh, another thing is um, leaf mulch. You know, the leaves yeah. fall off the trees, even here in South Africa. I didn't think there were so many seasons, but there no, are. No, I know. I know, you it was so it. bizarre. <laughs> and so all these leaves, so everyone's blowing off the leaves and putting them and getting rid of them. And actually, the leaf mulch is the best possible thing. So I just went out and got a piece of, a, a piece of metal, whatever, a metal fencing, made a circle, and I just kept piling all the leaves in there. And then that put it into the compost heap after a little while, and it helps break everything down, and then you have this great compost. Wow. Yeah, so don't get rid of those leaves. Keep them on your plants, keep it everywhere. Wow, this yeah. has been very informative, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> now you back any time. You <laughs> have some food for us to try. I actually, you know what? I, I don't. I, I probably thought. I thought you probably hadn't tasted this yet. And actually, this was a last minute thought. So this is um, this is baby marrow or mm. zucchini or courgette, whatever word you want to use. You use. It all works for me. <laughs> From my garden mm. last summer, I had all this courgette and I had so much that I actually. And this is what I teach you to do. I grated it all up and I froze it in bags two and a half cups bags in the freezer and I, everything's filed and um, I don't have any in the garden now because I haven't grown yet so I pulled that out and I made courgette bread zucchini bread and this is an old old family recipe that dates back to when my mother used to make this for me as a child and and funny enough my children at school here they used to bring this as a snack and people, they started asking me to make it and to, they would buy the loaves for me. I said, okay, let's not be excessive. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually, I started making this because it's actually healthy and there are green specks in it, but kids love it because it's got quite a bit of um, cinnamon and other wonderful things in it. Oh. So I'll let you try a piece I and see if you like it. it. Yeah. All right, Mary, thank you so much for coming in. You can get more tips from Mary at saverandsave.com and you can find Eats online or at all good bookstores.